All right, so this question is not hard. It's basically impossible to mess up. It's plug points into equations. We clearly have an equation, right? So we have this. And then they give us a point, right? So we don't know whether that point is X or Y. We're gonna figure it out. But even if you messed it up, it's not gonna matter because this equation is just X plus Y. So plugging into the wrong one doesn't really matter. We're gonna solve for X. So how would we know what this is? Well, 670 minutes of daylight. Well, X is the number of minutes of daylight, right? So, okay, let's just plug that in for X and solve. So 670 plus Y equals 1440. You could obviously use Desmos to help you solve this, but gosh, why would you? Just subtract 670. And yeah, I would actually do it this way. I would do it, you know, on the page and just use my calculator because I'm afraid of like maybe messing up. So minus 670, we get Y is equal to 770. It doesn't take long to write it down. And now I'm pretty sure I'm right, right? I'm as close to confident as I can be uh, without, you know, maybe making some sort of mistake somewhere by entering in the calculator wrong. But uh, very unlikely. So there you go. Not so bad. But before you go, I do want to point out one really nasty thing that they did on this question that, again, doesn't matter for this question, but will certainly matter for others, right? We had to figure out what this 670 was. It's the minutes of daylight. And we can go and we can say, okay, minutes of daylight is right here. And that's leading to the X. But notice what they did, right? Notice that they put this parentheses piece in between that definition of X and then the letter X, right? So if we're scanning, here's what most of you are gonna do, and it's wrong, but a lot of you are gonna just do it like this. And you're going to link the X with the part that comes after it. Just because it's just, it's closer together in the sentence, there's the parentheses there, you're skimming. So you're gonna link it and just say, oh, X is the minutes of non-daylight. And again, in this case, it doesn't matter because X and Y have no coefficients in front of them, so it's not gonna affect your answer if you did that. But I've seen questions where this is exactly why people get it wrong. It's a harder question. The equation is more complicated and plugging in the wrong variable is everything. And they will put that as one of the answers. So if you do plug into the wrong thing, you will get an answer. You will feel confident in that answer because it's there as one of the answer choices, but it is wrong. And so we have to be really cautious of this. I think they deliberately put those parentheses there to just see if you're paying attention. And the Y, of course, is on a different line. That just might be the way that my, um, I don't know, screen kind of captured this and it, it cut off the way. That's not necessarily the case that it would always be on the other you know, line. But I don't know. You just don't really know. And I think that they are putting distance between these things on purpose sometimes to mess with you. So just remember, a lot of questions in the SAT, for, for the math especially, are not really about math. They're about reading instructions and following those instructions. But the SAT has ways of kind of confusing those instructions and making them harder to follow. And so if you're going too fast, you're not paying attention, you're gonna fall for these traps and those answer choices that you would get, those wrong answers will be there as choices. So just be aware of this. I know this is an easy question, but I cannot stress enough how many points people lose unnecessarily because of reading stuff like that incorrectly on harder questions.